little bit different take here on Independence Day. Uh, you guys might, by the end of this, you guys might think, well, what, that doesn't make any sense, or what's he even talk about, talking about, or that has nothing to do with Independence Day. Well, I'm, I'm gonna beg to differ. So uh, it's not lost on me what in Independence Day is and what it represents. But it got me to thinking about what being independent is. And um, basically, if, uh, if to me, if you're not willing to put the work in, uh, you're not independent. If you think everybody supposed, is going to do it for you, uh, even if you're a supervisor at your job, if you have a, a, a position in your workplace where uh, you're a, a leader, uh, let me tell you, if you're not willing to do the work or you haven't been willing to do the work in the past to get that position, you're not a leader of men. What you are is sitting in a chair, maybe making decisions, but you're not a leader. Uh, if, if you're not willing to put the work in, labor, good old fashioned labor is what true independence is. And if you're not willing to do that, you're not a leader and you're definitely not independent. So that's my take here on Independence Day. And like I said, I'm not lost on what in Independence Day truly means, what it truly represents, but it just got me to thinking, are you really independent? Uh, there's a saying, it goes something like this, any man Most any man can handle adversity, but if you want to test the true character of a man, give him power. Then you'll see what true character is out of that person. If you're not willing to do the work, you're not independent. See ya.